Hi guys, this is Anna and welcome to a slightly different video. It's an exciting video because I just got home from work and I have a present. I have my mock box. I have not opened it yet, so I thought I'll open it with you. It's a little bit of an unboxing. I'm pretty excited. I have not read the card yet, so no clue whatsoever as to what the books inside are, but I have opened the front lid, obviously. As usual, this is the regular fiction club. So it comes in lovely packaged with those little recyclable thingies. I have a feeling they're gonna go everywhere. So you have a card, as I've said, which I have not read yet. And then you have two books. So that's the book which has been sort of more on the top. And if I fish more, you can hear me now fishing through the box. With everything falling out of the box. Lots and lots of recyclable ribbons going everywhere. There's a second book, which looks bigger and heavier, so I think this is paper bound and this one is hardback. I think still attached, so let's see what the note said. This month's box features two fantastically inventive novels. Both books are weirdly dark and unsettling, yet beautifully evocative. They offer distorted versions of our own world whilst commenting on contemporary social issues. The novels have completely different writing styles, but both delight in the strange and surreal. We hope you delight in them too. So, pretty interesting premise. And I would say the writing style does sound a lot like Mercedes, the way she talks. So I'm supposing that each book comes with its own little bookmark. So I'm going to start with a small book. And this one says, some days when we come to work, uh, some days when he came to work, it was his shadow that went ahead of him. It comes from 100 Shadows by Wang Junhin. So that's how it looks like should focus if my face is out of the way and I'm gonna to try to be very careful because I don't like to rip things I like to open them as carefully as I can it does come with the twine I don't know it's just the way I've been brought up I guess I'm gonna sit and try to do it rather than take scissors so that's my twine number one and done the beautiful purple paper, tissue paper. I'm getting more excited. Oh, that's lots of paper. So here's the book. It's translated by Junk Yeowon. Published by Tilted Access. Never seen this. Never seen the publisher. 100 Shadows. It's interesting. I don't even know if it's Korean or is it Chinese. It has a bit of a Russian doll, Matryoshka, on the front. So in the Slum Electronics Market in the central Seoul, so it is South Korea, a city better known for its skinny skyscrapers and slick pop videos, an awkward, tentative relationship grows between repair shop assistant, I'm gonna butcher these guys, <laughs> young Yang, Diangui, and Moje. Having both dropped out of the formal education, their circumstances are already uncertain when the market is earmarked for demolition. An event seemingly linked to strange recent developments. The shadows of the slum inhabitants have started to rise. Interesting. It says an oblique hard edge novel tinted with offbeat fantasy. 100 Shadows leaves the reader to make up their own mind as to the nature of the shape shifting tale. Fascinating. I have never heard of the author nor the Tilted Access Press publisher, so that is pretty exciting for me. I guess that's the main reason why I have signed up for the book club because I want to broaden my horizons. Interesting says it says on the front, introduced by Han Kang, so the author of The Vegetarian, I still haven't read that book, but I'm going to. Win of the Man Booker International Prize. So the guy who has won the Man Booker International Prize has actually endorsed this one, both Koreans, so I just really hope I like it. 
and now I have book number two which looks like it's a bigger one and it is a quote from a book by Marisa Silva called Little Nothing so I guess that's what it is she feels like she has been thrown into the air and for the brief moment she is aloft the earth has turned so that when she comes down she recognizes nothing interesting it's an interesting quote let's see if I can safely undo this particular twine oh that is not going to be easy this one is not going to be easy I guess because it's a hard bond they went quite harsh on the tying again same color beautiful paper and the book looks really nice oh the book looks really nice little nothing it's a very tactile pleasing surface let's see how it looks without it it's black white words and papers are just sort of burgundy color and they match they quite nicely match this it's slightly 3d glossy picture has the picture of the author in color Marisa Silva and it has endorsements from New York Times book review saying beguiling silver storytelling skills are finely matched for her themes meditative passages bloom with life do you know that sounds really fascinating Marisa Silva is an author of a novel Mary Coyne a New York Times bestseller and winner of the Southern California Independent Booker's Award I have never heard of her she's also the author of the God of War No Direction Home and Two Story Collection Alone With You and Babe in Paradise Silver Short Fiction has won her a Henry Award and been included in the Best American Short Stories the Henry Prize Stories and other anthologies she lives in Los Angeles so I'm guessing that the book publisher is also American indeed it is one world publisher and I believe that's the very first book I own by that publisher so so far 12 books I have never heard of the publisher but if you keep reading actually one world publishing is registered in 10 Bloomsbury Street in London so I wonder if they are part of the larger conglomerate or they're independent I don't know anything about them and I wish it had like a little synopsis but it still doesn't so ah no here it is in an unarmed country at the beginning of the last century a peasant couple longs for a child despairing they turn to gypsy tonics and archaic prescriptions and one cold wintry night the couple's wish come true but the silence that follows the birth forewarns of darker days to come strangers look on askings and fall speechless in the child's presence and the villagers protectively hush their children as they pass on narrow market lanes Pavla is no ordinary child but then this is no ordinary tale a woman throughout is the story of Daniela, a young man who sees beauty where others see ugliness and who is obsessed only with protecting Pavla. Drawn from rich tapestry of fables, fairy tales and folklore, Little Nothings is a fantastically inventive, suspenseful allegory and one of the most toxic and constantly surprising love stories you will read this year. I want to read this book now. Honestly, this sounds so good I love fairy tales I love fables this is going on my five things to try first chapter from I'm so trying the first chapter as soon as I'm recording this video on Saturday or Sunday whenever I get time I want to start reading it now it sounds that good so thank you Mercedes I'm super excited that I've managed to get my hand on a second box in a row absolutely love the sound of those two books and i see you guys pretty soon in my next video thank you bye